We're now going to continue you back to your normal broadcasting station. Today's episode is Minecraft. That's right. Blocks, picks, squares, cubes, shovels, axes, and, well, pretty much anything else that's a square. One floor and a call button. Um, currently we can only do one floor as far as that's we've developed. But this button sends you up, and I'll walk you through how to build it. You can get out and say you come back and you want to go back down. You press that button, sends you back down. Now let's go back up. Just for purposes, I'll show you how the call works. You get out and somebody somebody sends it back down. All right. Well, okay. Now I'm up here. Cart's all the way down there. How do I get it back? I press the call button. And the call button brings it back, and then you go back down. Now I'm actually using a bunch of dual purpose uh, redstone, and I'll kind of walk you through it here. I can send it up, and then just to prove that the call works down on this end, it comes back down. Pretty simple, actually. I mean, I figured it'd be a lot harder than this. My cousin Josh had actually set up all the railcraft. I just did almost uh, the majority of the wiring. Um, I'm not going to go and show you guys how to do recipes, um, that's up to you guys to figure out, but uh, I'll show you how we have it set up. Uh, obviously we have a powered rail here, standard rail, and this is the elevator rail, or track, or whatever it is. Now I'll start, this is a basic 2-bit uh, memory switch. Um, I'll give you guys a good look at it. Uh, just kind of see how this is all laid out a little bit. Um, now I'll come down here by the switches themselves. Uh, this is the... Uh, sorry guys, I was interrupted. Um, the gray wire is the call, and the blue wire, I believe, is the send. Uh, except in that case, that case is different. That's just what I left over. Uh, but the gray wire, um, once activated, uh, goes here. Uh, it is repeated just for the fact that um, it wouldn't go far enough otherwise. And then this one splits off to this side of the switch. What's nice is once this is activated, this side stays lit up and that side goes dark. It's just the way 2-bit memory switch works. Um, this is activated which causes this one to shut off, which causes this, the minecart to drop. Now down there, to make it drop, which would be the call button, is wired up like that. And for this is just the standard uh, send button, is linked onto the same half of the 2-bit memory switch and goes right here. Now the other half of the 2-bit memory switch is going to be the receive and call button. Now this is going to be for the most part the blue wire. Um, the blue wire in order to send it goes through and it activates the blue wire here which activates the other half of the 2-bit memory switch which powers, which from right here will power the rail. And since he had actually had it power the rail all the way up here. I actually inadvertently ended up using it as my call wire because it was just easier than running a whole separate one. I set it up so that, and then that activates that, which would bring it back up for the call. But we're looking at this wire, which, no, oh, it's correct. Blue wire. Um, I would not only just powers the rails, it also calls the elevator from the bottom. Um, now I'll show you something else on how I actually got it to work. Um, otherwise, if I wouldn't have put all of this wiring right here in, it would not call because this would stay deactivated because it's only a button. And then it wouldn't call the elevator back up. So, running this wire on the activated half of the 2-bit memory switch comes down and since it's activated it keeps this power activated 
See if I put a block there, it just sends it up. Now, by deactivating this half of the 2-bit memory switch and activating the other half of the memory switch, it unpowers everything on that half, sending it to come back down. So it's actually pretty simple, but it, it works fairly well. Uh, and it's fairly quick in speed-wise. Uh, probably took over a half hour to build and set up, but you know that's actually not too bad. It could be worse. Uh, so, other than that, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it's a very tedious to build at first, but once I do it, you know it's pretty simple to replicate. I'd say. Other than that, it has just been a Minecraft short. Uh, sorry, a tech it short by the MC for PC team. So, um, just sign off here real quick. And that's the team. That's all we needed to do. So, uh, the MC for PC team signing off. Hope you guys have a good day. Um, that's all. Goodbye.